Hello everyone, I'm back again. Double Cross King here, hitting you up with some thoughts on Chikara's Season 10 debut, which I finally finished off today. Chaos in a Sea of Lost Souls. It was delightful. It, it actually was a very, uh, very fun show. Uh, fun season premiere. Um, not quite what Touch of Class was, but that was a different year, different stories going on at, at that moment, so. Can't really blame it. Uh, the solo cup of doom. What could possibly be in it? I'm at college, aren't I? Wink. Um, it's water. I need to drink more water. So it's water. Um, before I move on to the Jakar review, I watched Kobashi vs. Ogawa. Um, I, I made this, I, I made this post on, uh, the Pro Rest TV forum, but, is it weird for me to chant, kill Ogawa, kill Ogawa, over and over again, um, so that Kobashi kills him? Is that weird? Do I have a problem? Do I? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. <coughs> More water. Excellent. At least I'm not eating fucking pizza rolls or whatever the fuck some people eat on, you know, during their wrestling videos. John the Jaws. Don't worry, John. I love you, but seriously, it's obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yes. Chikara, Chaos on the Sea of Lost Souls. Um, what do we open up with? Fist versus Osirian Portal. Uh, this was Hirokan's um, debut um, under this new Osirian Portal um, dealio. It was Fist and Osirian Portal. It was fun. Um, the action seemed a little bit off. I think, you know, um, Fist, you know, with the, the Johnny Gargano incarnation, uh, hasn't been around that long, nor have they wrestled as a, tri as a trio nearly as much as I want them to, because I like Fist. I wish Chikara did more with Fist. I wish Fish, Fist was just bad guy-tastic. Um, and I hope they uh, get uh, their due at King O Trios. Um, not that I necessarily want them to win. We'll wait until all the trios are announced. God! I need to try and make those plans so I can go, because I'm pretty sure I can, because my class schedule is pretty fine. So I'm pretty sure I can go. Um, if Chikara Office watches this video, and I believe I've gotten a comment from them before, um, if you leave a comment saying go to that you want me at King of Trios, I will try even harder. So, or I will kill a small puppy. No, that's a bad ultimatum. I need to get back to the review. Um, fun opening match. Uh, things seem a little off, uh, especially with the portal. Because, um, I mean, the portal's great. Gresham, Gresham's totally fun to watch. They just need to get all three on tap. But other than that, fun, fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> let me... Sorry, folks. I'm having trouble remembering every single thing because it actually took me um, a couple days to watch this show let me see the what the card was for this show yeah okay <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, musical interlude. I did some musical theater in my heyday, um, so I'm pretty pretty good at this kind of stuff. Um, up next was, gosh, I'm awful at this. Uh, Dizzy Hayes versus Madison Eagles. Um, Chikara does uh, fun lady stuff. I think we can all be fans of that. Um, Madison is a lanky. Not lanky, but uh, she is a Amazon-esque-like woman, and that is fun to see when she's going up against 
Um, um, Daisy still has an amazing looking bridging German. Um, and Madison, uh, I'm glad she's coming back for more stuff in Jakar because I think she works and she'll mix up the stuff with the ladies of the BDK. Um, up next we had, yes, Dasher Hatfield and Sugar Dunkerton versus the Roughnecks of uh, Grizzly Redwood and Brody Lee. Um, some people aren't high on Grizzly Redwood trying to be such a bad guy. I don't mind at all. I actually really, really enjoy this feud. Who would have thought that a baseball player, a basketball player, a trucker, and a lumberjack would have probably the most hateful feud in a company? That's kind of awesome in how ridiculous that sounds. But there's a lot of hate between these two teams. Um, Sugar Dunkerton um, got hurt. He got hurt real bad. You'll see when you watch the show. I'm trying really, really hard not to spoil anything. Anything. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Up next was, yes, BDK, uh, BDK team of Tursus, Sarah Del Rey, and Lince Dorado against the Soul Touches, uh, Willie the Bomb Richardson, Acid Jazz, and M80 Marche Rocket. M80? Yeah, 80. It's not M18. It'd be M80, which is actual rock. Whatever. Um, I love Soul Touches. They are fun, and them getting... And I love what they're doing, having them get involved with the BDK. We just need some full-on trios slash faction warfare, and I think Chikara can do that well, unlike other indie companies that haven't necessarily done a great job with such a thing. I will not be naming names. Why am I staring at my TV, at my computer screen? I don't know. Um, I like I like that there was there's a bit of hate here too. Willie Richardson and Tersus need to have a one-on-one -on -one match at some point. So they can just go all big man all over each other, and it'll be awesome. Um, uh, it, it, it's re it's really good. Them, like if you're gonna if you're gonna make the soul set as a big deal in Jakara, this was the right this was the big thing to do. Is basically they. If you guys don't know the backstory behind this, C Red and Diamond. Um, male and female uh, managers of the Soul Touches got taken out by the BDK in a big old attack, I believe, at the Germans, and it's it's really like tragic. Like it's it's heart wrenching to see like not only managers like non wrestlers, but really likable, like lovable, lovable people uh, get hurt like that. So there's definitely a connection in this feud. Um, and uh, <laughs> it ain't over, folks. It ain't over. Next up, Hollow Wicked and Frightmare, aka Incoherence, against Oberion and Kodama, the Batiri. Why am I using my Ron Burgundy voice? Fantastic. Um, it was kind of weird because Hollow Wicked was trying to do his I'm big, but I can move a lot offense on these. Oh, Baron and Kodama are not that big. They're fairly small dudes. I mean, they are tiny, insy wincy vampiros, basically. Um, but they're good. I like them. They're pretty good. Um, and some of the stuff came up awkward because Hollowick is trying to do, like, hurricane rodas on them and just people are, like, collapsing underneath people's weight. It's kind of crazy. But, um, Hollowick and Frightmare are a really good team and it's kind of cool seeing them team up. Um, I'm sure we'll see Frightmare defend the Young Lions Cup against probably Obarion at some point um, to keep this going. As this led directly, as there was some chaos on the outside, that led directly into the next match. Um, Ultramanus Black and Sin Bodhi, Kazarni, whatever the heck you're going to call him. This was just more chaos. Not very long because of said chaos. Um, some really cool stuff involving um, Derek Sabato in this match. Um, that's that's very cool and I'm really excited to see where that goes. 
Yeah. Uh, up next, semi main event Eddie Kingston versus El Generico. Mm boy, they beat the poop out of each other. They. Oh, they dropped each other like it was nobody's business. I love El Generico, and I want him to be in Jakarta so much more. I hope they bring him back uh, with some other guys for King of Trios. Um, put him, put them with a, uh, put him with Super Smash Brothers. Um, you know, Team Canada, yay! Because um, we need more Super Smash Brothers in Jakarta. Pretty please. At least player does. I love player does. Um, delicious. Uh, so, that happened, they beat the crap out of each other, Kingston is a warrior, and Generico earned Kingston's respect, and Kingston, before the match, cut yet another awesome promo, Kingston is such an interesting character, he's so, I really want, oh, when they do Kingston versus Claudio, I'm gonna explode. Like, like wh whenever they try to, when they try to, when they do that match, I'll probably try and I'll probably try and go find. I'll probably try to go to wherever it's where, whether it's um, Philly, Easton, Reading. I'm gonna try and go to that. Maybe it's not as much as I'm trying to go to King of Trios, but I'm gonna try and see that match. That's gonna be nuts. Have you seen their three fisted tails match? From last, it was the last show of season eight in '09. Imagine what this next match could be, folks. I mean, just look at this match with Generico, and plus Generico has been through wars, and we have seen what he can do taking punishment. Um, I'm trying really hard and doing a great job of not spoiling pretty much anything. Hooray! And uh, up next, another very good, very good match. Um, these last two matches are, are really uh, just very, very good. Um, Mike Quackenbush Jigsaw, the Campy Unato Spit de Preas, uh, along with the Colony of Fire and Soldier Ant, against the BDK team of Claudio Casanoli, Eris, Delirious, and Tim Donst. Um, this was very good. But it, it was so light. It was a very light match between Chikara and BDK. It's kind of a weird place since BDK lost the belt. They're in a very strange place. No Lo Young Lions Cup. No tag belts. No director of fun. Um, Sabato has lost steam because of um, Wink Vavasur's influence over him. So I'm very interested to see where it goes. Because they've got... they've. St I mean, they still have ties... Um, I mean, Sabato seems to be tied somewhat to Ultramantis Black's deal with uh, the Batiri. You have BDK getting involved with the Soul Touchers. You have BDK trying to get the belts back, trying to win King of Trios. Uh, it's it's all over the place. Um, my throat really hurts during the doing this review, so I'm sorry if I keep drinking. Water, water. Uh, so. But that was very good. But it felt very light um, and almost inconsequential um, at points. However, I did like the handshake at the end between the Colony and uh, Quack and Saw. You know, whenever Colony gets the points, they face him. I love me some Colony, so get him in there with Quack and Jigsaw. I'll be happy. Um, and plus, Quack and Bush. Is there anyone... I, people don't realize how cool and charismatic Quack and Bush is. Or at least they don't talk about it. He's, he seems like this weird mix of goofball and this different kind of series, different kind of personality. He looks great. Um, so yeah, that is Chikara, Chaos, and a Sea of Lost Souls. I recommend it to basically um, anyone who likes Chikara get this show. Um, but it is a very good show, so I recommend it to people who even uh, people who want to try it out. Um, although I would. Um, I would actually recommend, say, some Season 8 stuff before I recommend this, but to catch up on everything. But if you're going to get this, go ahead and get it. Check it out. Fun show. Recommended in those ways by me. I'm Double Cross King. Stay classy, folks. King of Trios!